going to uh, start off with a song that is inspired by a very famous fiddle tune called the Orange Blossom Special. Have some of you heard it? Yeah? Excellent. Okay, a well-informed audience. <laughs> well, for those of you that haven't, uh, the fiddle impersonates the sound of a train because the Orange Blossom Special was a train that ran from New York down to Florida. So folks would get on it in the winter when it was cold and snowy and miserable, kind of like it is today. And they would take it all the way down to Florida where the orange trees would be blooming. So that's how the train got its nickname. And so I wrote this song about a woman originally from the South who moves up north and finds herself in a kind of difficult situation. So the train becomes a kind of allegory for her returning to the warmer days of her youth. I like to drop words like allegory into my stage banter as much as possible because <laughs> I find that it impresses the librarians. <laughs> so this is Orange Blossom. I can't stay too long up here Seems I've lost the will to walk back home Northern winters last so long They're even longer when you sleep alone Telegram came late today It seemed to call me back in Turkey away And I would leave but when I try The guidance stars fall straight out of the sky Mom always told me twice, love a man with all your might When it's timed up and go away to you The orange blossom below The orange blossom below And I was never one to fuss Grief weighs heavy on me like a stone The man I love is gone at night And then he brings his rage into our home now I was young and pretty once Now the years lie etched across my face Now I was free and hope once Until the day I bartered all my faith Mom always told me twice Love a man with all your might When it's time to up and go away to you The orange blossom below The orange blossom Love won't do the trick. And I remember who you were to me, to the whiskey made you sick. And I can't stick around, see another winter coming dark and strong. Yellow fields and open skies, it seems I've been away from home too long. Mom always told me twice, love a man with all your might. When it's time to up and go away to you, the orange blossom below, the orange blossom below. Mom always told me twice, love a man with all your might, 
When it's time to up and go, may tear the orange blossom blow. The orange blossom blow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, I'm going to um, play you a song that's uh, a little bit unusual for me. Um, so most of my songs tend to be about someone other than myself. So I might write a, write a song inspired by history or folklore, maybe like a short story or a poem that I'm reading at the time. And my songs seldom tend to be personal. But uh, this song is an exception. And I wanted to write it about something that I think unites us all as humans, and that's going through the process of losing someone that you love. It's something that's going to happen to each of us in our lives someday, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner, but uh, in this case it was. And it could be uh, just a dear friend, or it doesn't even have to be human, it could be a pet. Um, <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I wanted to write about what that felt like. And I'm the type of person that when I find someone that I love, I really try to hold on to them. I try to hold on to the people that I love. And uh, so it was always very disconcerting for me that when you are falling in love with someone, they might be the very closest thing to your heart and you share everything with them. And then maybe the day comes when you fall out of love and that person who was once so close to you becomes a little more than a stranger. And so I wanted to write a song about what that feels like. And I wove in imagery from uh, the Northern Lights because I actually spent the first seven years of my life in Alaska. And then my family relocated to New Hampshire where I spent the rest of my childhood. So the Northern Lights are very near and dear to my heart. And I thought that they were a really lovely allegory for losing love because they're fleeting, but they're so beautiful. So this is Northern Lights. Think I loved you once Think I slept through your goodbye Melancholy only lasts so long You can't find the strength to cry We held the world up for a little while Painted life in white and gold. It's hard to remember when the fog grows in. The distance takes its toll. Build me a ladder to the northern lights so I can watch them from the sky. Promise the air won't lose its winter still. The dusk won't pass me by. Wait, I think you loved me once. I think you blessed me with your grace. It's hard to recall the rush of letting go. Life falls into place. Build me a ladder to the northern lights so I can watch them from the sky. Promise the air won't lose its winter still. The dusk won't pass me. We mapped that hour 
Watch the moonlight lose its breath Counting seconds till the day was born All the world around us snapped It's hard to remember where a moment falls You can't recall the years It's hard to remember what a promise means And the truth obscured by fear and Build me a ladder to the northern lights So I can watch them from the sky the promise the air won't lose its winter still Dust won't pass me by. I'll carve my image out with knife point stars. So you can find me in the night. And I won't fade until the morning comes. And the sky is clear with light. Thank you very much. So, uh, are you ready for a happy song? <laughs> I think I am too. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I wrote this, uh, this next song in celebration of uh, my favorite season here in New England, which is the summer. I'm sure I'm not alone with that. And uh, I uh, have toured well before COVID. I toured um, a lot in Europe and um, in the UK, and I would have to kind of explain to people like what the maple syrup harvest was and, you know, harvesting the sap and everything like that. And of course, as New Englanders, I don't need to explain any of that to you. You understand it all. But um, one thing that I always really loved as kind of like a first sign of spring was seeing those buckets, those, those metal buckets hanging from the maple trees. And I don't know if they have a technical name. I always just call them like the sugar in buckets or the sugar buckets. I'm sure there's like a name for them. But uh, it's always really heartening to start to see those pop up. And you know that spring is on, spring is on its way and then summer is on its way. So uh, yeah, this is just a, a light, happy song about that time of year here in New England, and hopefully it'll get you feeling a little bit warm today. <laughs> so this is called June Day. I've done it again Take it twice what's mine Sleeping through the winter Waiting for the sun to shine We'll gather up the sugar in buckets To waste a drop You're filling up my heart Spilling more the top And I'll lay down more underneath the summer sun there is thick as honey too. The light leaves and even comes. Sit here beside me, darling, on this hot June day. I tumble in the summer grasses, sweeter than the autumn hay. Looks like I've done it again. Lost my head, listening to the rush of rain. Too. Dust stains the skyline red. We're giving it another minute. The stars burn bright. Like candles on the road to lead me 
home to you for one more night. And I'll lay down and mourn beneath the summer sun. And there is thick as night, the light leaves and evening comes. Sit here beside me, darling, on this hot June day. Tumble in the summer grasses, sweeter than the autumn hay. Feels like I'm near in trouble, but I can't turn back. The promise of a tire swings got me. Crossing o'er the tracks, let the day and all its glory pass without a care. Underneath an apple tree, the air is too sweet to share. And I'll lay down the morning beneath the summer sun. And there is thick as honey till the light leaves and evening comes. Sit here beside me, darling, on this hot June day. I tumble in the summer grasses, sweeter than the autumn hay. Sit here beside me, darling, on this hot June day. I tumble in the summer grasses, sweeter than the autumn hay. play you another one that's um, really close to my heart. Uh, so this, uh, this next song is off of my newest album, and I'll tell you more about my albums in a little bit. Um, and it's actually inspired by my, my sweetheart at the time, who is now my husband. Um, so my husband is from Italy, and so in order for us to be together, we had to jump through a lot of legal hoops, so had to file a lot of paperwork, hire a lawyer, and it took about two years for his green card to come through, and now he's been here in America for almost four years, so I think he's really settled into the American way of life. But of course, the lovely thing about uh, being in love is that you're inspired all the time. And uh, I think that's doubly true when the person that you love is far away from you. So the first part of our relationship was over Skype and phone calls and flying to visit each other. And I have to say, I got a lot of really good songwriting material out of it, <laughs> for better or worse. <laughs> so I wrote this song um, <clears throat> when I was staying at a, a friend's house up in uh, the mountains of New Hampshire a couple autumns ago. And I was really missing my sweetie and feeling kind of romantic. And I wove in influences from some of my favorite poets. So there's a little bit of the um, West Virginia Appalachian poet, Louise McNeil, in here. I'll tell you more about her later. And uh, <clears throat> a little bit of Robert Frost, wonderful New England poet, and also a little bit of W.B. Yeats from Ireland. So the name of this song is Tell Me Love. Mm Tell me love, tell me low and tell me true How the robin's egg came to be so blue Come the night, lift your head and tell me why Kindled stars hold vigil in the sky Bushled neath the silver moon, now to bury wine, 
sweet as morning dew. Splendors great and small, made humble by the truth. Glory's mine, loving you. Join me, love, before the moment's past. See the winter wind weave lace upon the glass. Come the night, lattice dice to shudder in. The firelight and the sweetness of our sin. Hazel Hollow, where the owl hides her charms. Buttons, chestnut locks, tucked away from harm. Come the winds of change, come cold and cold and lost. I'll stay warm here in your arms. Tell me, love, tell me now so I might rest. Why the meadow love weaves a ribbon in a nest? Come the night, take me to some riverbed. Let the willow weave a bower for us. Golden honeycombs, foxholes deep and dark, ribbon maples where the bobcat leaves a mark. It's enough for me to know when I depart that I'd hold near your heart. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, sing you a song in Gaelic. Uh, the name of the song is She is Gunnan Awin, and that means down to the river. Um, and so the phrase that I've come up with to describe my music is Gaelic Americana, because I like to weave together Celtic and Appalachian music to kind of create something a little bit different and new. And uh, I kind of started getting into Celtic music and the Gaelic language, Scottish Gaelic language in particular, when I went to Nova Scotia after I graduated from college on a Fulbright Fellowship. And I was studying Celtic music up there and I started hearing people speaking Gaelic. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's such a beautiful language. So then I ended up going over to the Isle of Skye and uh, I spent a year at a place called Selm Modostic which is a four-year university where you can get a degree through the medium of Scottish Gaelic. And uh, I did a program that was really intense. It's for beginners, but um, it's complete immersion in the language. And they usually bring you to fluency by about the fourth month. And uh, I was there for a year. And so I was really excited to find this song in particular that I'm gonna sing for you because it's actually a traditional American psalm that was translated into Gaelic by a woman named uh, Kenna McKenzie. She's a beautiful Glasgow-based Gaelic singer. And some of you might recognize the melody if you've seen the film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Have some of you seen that? Yeah? All right, so you probably remember the moment in the film where everyone's going down to the river to be baptized and there's that beautiful Alison Krauss song playing in the background. So that's actually a traditional American psalm that was translated into Gaelic by Kenna and 
first of all, I was excited to find it because it's American, translated to Gaelic. I thought, oh my goodness, how Gaelic Americana is that? Uh, <laughs> but the other really neat connection is that there are theories that American gospel music is actually connected with the Gaelic singing tradition. So there's something that still happens on the outer Hebridean islands of Scotland today. It's called Gaelic psalm singing. And you can hear it if you go to services there. And basically what it entails is there's a caller that will stand at the head of the church, and she or he will call or sing out a line to a congregation, and then the congregation will sing it back to them. And everyone will pick like different melodies and sometimes different rhythms, but they all end up together in the end. And it's a really like eerily beautiful thing to hear. And so the theory is that when the Scottish people immigrated to the Appalachian region during the times of the Highland Clearances, they brought with them the tradition of Gaelic psalm singing that mixed with the music of the African-American people and gave us what we have today with American gospel music. So <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch, but when I listen to Gaelic psalm singing and then I listen to American gospel music, I can really hear a strong link between the two traditions. So there's the full history. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sing this for you. Um, if you would like to sing along, please feel free. You can sing in English or Gaelic or whatever your, <laughs> whatever your chosen language happens to be. <laughs> so this is She is Gunnan Owing or Down to the River. Nor kai me she is gunnan awin and she Gorni so fallum Fogu ye is go Laces grun and shade Vig ye stood me not ye O Dodden Rack a mid she is Rack a mid she is Hook a mid she is O Fraud and rack me she is Gornies and now in lay Nor kai me she is Gonna now in and chain Gornies of fall them Fog all ye go yet Triskens grun and shade Vig ye stood me not ye O fairy in rack amid she is Rack amid she is A hook amid she is O fairy in rack amid she is Gorni Sanna in Lake Nor Kai me she is Gunna now in a chain Gorni so fall them fall ye is go Laces grun and shade Vig ye stood me not ye O wadi in rack amid she is Rack amid she is A hook amid she is O wadi in rack amid she is born is now in vain. Nor kai me she is gonna now in a chain. Born is a fallen folk all ye go yet. And the skins grun and shade Vig ye stood me not ye Vardy in rack amid she is 
Recognize that? Some of you, yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's. Okay, so um, are you ready for the rock and roll portion of the show? <laughs> well, it only lasts for one song, so don't get too excited. <laughs> um, so uh, this next song is uh, inspired by a couple things. The first is the poetry again, of uh, Louise McNeil, the wonderful West Virginia Appalachian poet who I mentioned earlier. So Louise McNeil was from the, um, the mountains of West Virginia, and she was one of our early poet laureates. And uh, her poetry was very lyrical and ballad-like, and a lot of her poems would have just made beautiful songs. And she's been a wonderful source of inspiration for my own writing to kind of capture a little bit of that Appalachian voice as a New Englander. Um, so there's a little bit of influence of Louise McNeil in here, and also the character of Miss Havisham from Great, Expec Great Expectations. Um, so my father is a writer, and one of the first books that he ever read aloud to me was uh, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, which I think is rather cruel and unusual punishment for a five-year-old. <laughs> But uh, I very clearly remember the scene where Miss Havisham goes up in flames, and that really just captured my five-year-old imagination. I just thought that that was the coolest thing ever, and that really kind of stuck with me over the years. And so I thought it would be interesting to write a song about someone similar to Miss Havisham, who was left at the altar by her sweetheart, and uh, she never quite gets over it, becomes very, very reclusive and bitter. And I thought it would be interesting to move her out of England and into the Appalachian region. And I think that if she lived in a place like West Virginia, her name probably wouldn't be Miss Havisham, but it would probably be something like Tilly Sage. So this is Tilly Sage. Call it gossip, idle talk, wait and venture up the hill. Beneath the arbor, bales and thorns, hornet laden poison fields. And you'll see her, dressed in white, standing sentinel at the door. Framed in shadows, candlelight, wraith of all that came before. Tell the sage how far you fell. 
heaven's gates to find me out. Like a violet gone to dust, there's no whisper of the pool. Dressed in muslin, daisy crowned, breathless waiting on cool. Like an apple overrunning. Black and rotten to its core There's no sugar, a dash of spice Could sweeten Tilly's heart once more Tilly Sage How far you fell From heaven's gates To fiery When she prayed for his return, stood and held love's candle high till the beeswax dripped and burnt, hope and longing from her eyes. See the crabgrass, waistcoat high, see the carved webbed window panes, wood mortar, breaking glass, see how Tilly keeps her shape. Tell me, Sage, how far you fell from heaven's gates to fiery hell. down again and uh, sing you another song off of my newest album. So uh, this song has a, a couple sources of inspiration. Um, the first is just kind of the, the atmosphere of the Deep South. So I recorded uh, my latest album in Louisiana and I was two songs short for a 12-track album so I finished writing the lyrics to Tilly Sage on the plane ride down to Louisiana and then we recorded Monday through Friday and I wrote the chords of the song on Wednesday, the lyrics on Thursday, and we recorded it on Friday. <laughs> so <laughs> it was really down to the wire. But uh, I think because I was under so much pressure, this actually ended up being one of my favorite songs that I've, I've written in quite a while. So definitely a lot of the atmosphere of the South in this song. And uh, also inspiration from a beautiful John Hyatt song called Crossing Muddy Waters. And what I really love about that song is uh, it kind of turns a very common trope in folk music. I mean, I think this is common in all of music on, on its head. And uh, that's that concept of the man being the one to lead the relationship. So there's so many songs out there about men leaving and all the, what scoundrels they are. Not very many songs about women leaving, but Crossing Muddy Waters is different. I really like that. So I decided to write my own song about a woman behaving badly. Um, and I had her leave her lover in the middle of the night for the bright lights of Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> and I named her Evelina. So this is Evelina. Wind rains on dawn and sorrow. Gray shot sky won't shine too blue. Since she left on yesterday's tomorrow, lantern flame light beneath. Take my grave 
wide and deep. Evelina, I want me. Not a word, no letters come from Jackson. Who shining lights she vowed to one day see. Send the wind to call my wayward love home. By tooth and nail, I'll set a caged heart free. Take Margaret. Wide and deep, Evelina, I want me. Far away, porch lamps glint like diamonds. Glasses chime, embers glow and fade. My love laughs, sweet and pure as bird song. Come evenings and Know not where she lays. Take Margaret, wide and deep. Evelina, I want me. Thank you. the guitar off for this next one because it requires a little extra oomph. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to sing you another song in Gaelic. It's called Porsche de Beale and it literally means tune from the mouth. And uh, the tradition of Porsche de Beale singing in Scotland is really interesting. So basically the theory is as to uh, how this tradition came about is during the time of the um, oppression of the Scottish people by the English which was the time of the Highland Clearances, which I mentioned earlier. It basically became taboo slash illegal to show any of your Scottish pride or nationalism. So that meant that you couldn't wear your kilt, you couldn't speak Gaelic, and you couldn't play the pipes. And of course, this was devastating for the Gaels because the pipes were so important to not only the music of their culture, but to dancing, which was something that was very near and dear to their hearts. And so they kind of got creative with this. And what they did was they started singing the songs that they used to play on the pipes. And um, that way they were able to keep that tradition alive. And it traveled all the way over to Cape Breton, Nova Scotia during the times of immigration. And you can actually still hear people singing Porsche de Beale in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia today. So it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a go. <clears throat> and basically, the way that someone shows that they are an expert Porsche de Beale singer is, a, is if at, by the end of the tune they're still standing, that means they're a master. <laughs> so let's hope that's the case for me. <laughs> so this is Porsche de Beale or Tune from the Mouth. Ha, pita gek ma gomish, ha buko de da frogen. Pita gek ma gomish, ke mal ke fonik skinda. Pita gek ma gomish, ha buko de da frogen. Pita gek ma gomish, ke mal ke fonik skinda. Pita gek a klik, a di gek ma ke vadi yipiti. Nam vege marahi, 
the gag and mock a phone excuse. Peter get a click a dig at mock of the yippity. The big and money hicker gag and mock a phone excuse. Peter get my gomish a book that I've broken. Peter get my gomish can mock a phone excuse. Peter get my gomish a book that I've broken. Peter get my gomish can mock a phone excuse. Peter get a click a dig at mock of all the yippity. Big and money hicker gag and mock a phone excuse. Peter get a click a dig at mock of all the yippity. Big and money hicker. Shell of Cordio and his quigra ficator, a shell of Cordio and Shakatakur, you have been shell of Cordio and his quigra ficator, a shell of Cordio and Shakatakur, you have been Pio and Bio and Bio and the Skipper, Pio and Bio and Shakatakur, you have been Pio and Bio and Bio and the Skipper, Pio and Bio and Shakatakur, you have been shell of Cordio and his quigra ficator, a shell of Cordio and Shakatakur, you have been. Shall of Cordio and his coegra ficator, a shall of Cordio and Shakatakur, you have been Pio and Bio and Bio in the Skipicord, Pio and Bio and his Shakatakur, you have been Pio and Bio and Bio in the Skipicord, Pio and Bio and Shakatakur, you have been Da ha very naughty, how do you sound so cotty? Da ha very naughty, how do you take a new lack? Da ha very naughty, how do you sound so cotty? Da ha very naughty, how do you take a new lack? Get the hummy gun with Akam, how do you do sons of Cotty? Get the hummy gun with Akam, how do you take a new lack? Get the hummy gun with Akam, how do you do sons of Cotty? Get the hummy gun with Akam, how do you take a new lack? Da ha very naughty, how do you do sons of Cotty? Da ha very naughty, how do you take a new lack? Da ha very naughty, how do you do sons of Cotty? Da ha very naughty, how do you take a new lack? Get the hummy gun with Akam, how do you do sons of Cotty? Get the hummy gun with Akam, how do you take a new lack? Get the hummy Hami kun with Akam, Haru dee is sons of Kari. Get the Hami kun with Akam, Haru take a new luck. Thank you. Still standing. <laughs> Well, we're getting close to the end here, but uh, I've got two more for you. And uh, <clears throat> for the last song, I'm going to get you all singing along in Gaelic. So <laughs> I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> so uh, this song doesn't really have um, <clears throat> too much of a complicated backstory. I, uh, it's one of my early songs, and I wrote it about one of my favorite, other favorite times of year in New England, which is the autumn, which as you all know, is an absolutely beautiful time of year. And uh, I just wrote this song when I was home one fall in New Hampshire and I was looking around at all the beautiful colors and feeling kind of romantic and inspired and I decided to write a love song for the season. So this is actually the second song that I ever wrote. I was 19 when I wrote it, so that was two years ago. <laughs> I always hope that somewhere there will be an audience that doesn't laugh at that joke, but... <laughs> So far, I haven't been so lucky. Well, two, one out of two of those statements is true. <laughs> I was 19, but I'm not 21, alas. <laughs> so this is called Winter Fever.
Looks like it's short days once again. I can't fight the autumn. So I'll just sit here and reminisce. As the light fades, slow to evening. Baby, you know as well as I do. It's the time of year for reuniting. But I'll just sit here and breathe the cold. Do you warm me up and bring the morning? It's those winter fever chills Bring me down So slow and sweet Until you're in my arms again And you kick the wandering from your feet Baby, I know the cold can change you think you're losing ground Look to me if you need a compass I'll guide you homewards safe and sound It's those winter fever chills Bring me down So slow and sweet Till you're in my arms again And you kick the wandering from your feet Chase the road as long as it takes For you to slow down and remember And find your way back quick to me Till I'm lost in late December You know I'll wait through early Till the skies are painted black The night lies heavy like a blanket Keeping me warm till you get back It's those winter fever chills Bring me down So slow and sweet Till you're in my arms again And you kick the wandering from your feet It's those winter fever chills Bring me down So slow and sweet
right, well, I'm sorry to say we have come to the end of our time together. Um, but before we finish up, I am going to teach you the chorus of this song as promised. So this is a walking song. It comes from the tradition of walking the tweed. It was something that was very unique to women in Highland Scotland. So basically what that process involved is that women would take the freshly woven tweed and they would sit around a table and they would bang it against the surface of the table and they would sing as they did that to keep in rhythm with each other. And this process that was called walking would soften and tighten the fibers of the tweed. And uh, it was definitely very much like off limits to men. And one of the things that's really interesting about walking songs is it allows you to kind of have insight into what women's lives were like in the highlands of Scotland back in the day. Um, so that's one reason why I really like walking songs. And we're gonna break the rules today. I want the men to sing along with this as well. So don't be shy guys, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and teach you the chorus. It's very simple, it just goes. <clears throat> Did you get that? <laughs> All right, don't worry. I'm going to break it down, so don't worry. <laughs> so the first half of the chorus is... That was amazing. Well done. Oh, my gosh. And the second half is... Excellent. All right. So the whole thing is. Very good. That was beautiful, you guys. So the good news is that you are going to hear this chorus repeat about. 20 times throughout the song, so you're going to have lots of opportunities to jump in. <laughs> so if you miss it the first time, don't worry. Many more chances coming up. And um, I guess that's it for me for today. So thank you all so much for coming out. And this has been a pleasure, and I, I hope to meet you after the show. So this is called Girlish a Girlie. It means she is my love. <clears throat> Girlish a girlie. Eho Heo heo, mac for valen unlong, a ho who bogu, heard it yo who bodo, heo heo, the shenetic nussain, a ho who bogu, heard it yo who bodo, heo heo, girl is a girly, a ho who bogu, heard it yo who bodo, heo heo. Girl it out and it nil, a ho who bogu, heard it yo who bodo, he yo he yo, me to lock me down, a ho who bogu, heard it yo who bodo, he yo he yo, me go beer who lock bean, a ho who bogu, heard it yo who bodo, he yo he yo, me mark who are gun call, a ho who bogu.